Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Outlook and signatures. Um, in particular how you can set one up um, and make it appear on all of your emails. If you find this useful please click the like button, hit the subscribe and tap that bell. Um, it really does help the channel out massively and with that said let's jump on into it. So we're just going to hop over to our Outlook and the first thing I'm going to talk about is the two different ways to actually navigate to the um, signature settings. The first way, which is quite lengthy, would be to go to File, go to Options, um, from here click Mail, and then find the signature um, settings just here. This loads up the signature settings that let us actually set up a signature. Okay. That's um, one way. The Probably the easiest and preferred way would actually be to click on the search function at the top and actually click or start typing out the word signature until signature appears as a list of actions. Click that and then click on signatures. Loads up the same dialog box um, but it's usually a little bit quicker to actually get over to it. Um, with that said, this um, first section over here on the left will show you a list of um, signatures that you've currently already got set. Um, if it is blank um, then it would just be appearing like this and you can't actually create a signature um, down here without first giving a signature a name or creating a new signature um, up here. So what we want to do is click on the new button and then um, give your signature a name. So I'm going to call this one YouTube and then click OK. Now we have a signature here it has opened up our options at the bottom here for actually creating the signature. Now there's many different ways that you can create a signature. Um, if you want to do a, a really fancy signature then potentially you might want to hop over to something like PowerPoint or um, over to um, Word where you can have a bit more fancy functions um, in terms of how you want to uh, dress up your text um, and then copy it over from those applications into this particular dialog box or if you're just after something relatively basic we can actually just type away straight here so I'm going to type my name as the first line and then underneath there will be my job title um, which I am a retail analyst and then underneath that um, we could include a phone number um, so I can just type away uh, there that's not my real number that's just an example and then usually you would have a email address at the bottom um, and that would be at gmail.com and then usually um, following most common practice you then have an image underneath here of a logo of the company that you work for um, and you can get that just from the insert an image function just here on the right hand side so if we give that a click um, and then hop over to our um, pictures find the image that you'd like to include double click that and it will drop it straight into your signature um, there as well. Now the other thing that we can do is highlight all of this and actually mess around with the fonts and find the font that we would prefer to use, um, something that's uh, obviously a little bit easier on the eyes uh, and so forth um, or something particularly fancy then you can go for that. So for me I'll just hit this one. Um, I find that that font's a bit small so I might want to um, actually go a standard of a 14 um, but actually make my name pop a little bit more and go to 20 um, on that particular part um, maybe I want to put a line in between there maybe I want my name to be bold um, and away we go so now I have a signature set up um, from here this um, email uh, section over here lets you decide where you would like this email um, signature to actually be assigned to once you have all of these things here, so next on the list is um, you want it on new messages, who do you want that to be? So we want that to be from our signature here. And if we would like to include any replies or forwards, we'd like to include the signature in those, then we can select the signature that we should include from there. Once we're happy, click OK. And then we can click a new message here and our signature has appeared at the bottom um, without any issues. It's exactly as we set it up to be. Um, and that is it guys. If you've um, found that useful um, please click the like button, hit the subscribe um, and tap that bell. Uh, as I said before it really does help the channel um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.